Hello and welcome, Abelhawk here. You are all in it for a odd treat today as I will be looking at a obscure but pretty fun um, RPG design program called the OHRRPGCE. Uh, I think that stands for the official Hamster Republic RPG creation engine. It's a game I, uh, it's a game engine that I got Oh man, when I was about 11 or 12, I think, and I made a whole bunch of RPGs, never finished hardly any of them, but it was a lot of fun, and it still gets updates every once in a while. If you want an easy way to make RPGs, check it out. Uh, I may even make a video on like the basics of how to make an RPG, if there's any interest on that, because uh, I doubt that there are any videos about that online. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so what we're going to do today is just look at some of my RPGs that I made when I was a teenager and preteen even. And so there's some weird ones on here, but let's see what we're up against here. I'm going to start with some medium interest ones that I know are pretty good, and then we'll do some of the really bad ones. And then we're gonna, I'll do a walkthrough of Final Quest which is the one that I worked the hardest on and that a part of me still wants to finish someday. So let's get started. So this one's probably the one that I worked, I don't know, I, I put a lot of effort into this. So I'm pretty proud of it. So I don't know if any of you are Boy Scouts of America, <laughs> but I made this RPG after going to a Boy Scout camp called Cedar Badge in 2003. And so it's called Cedar Badge, which is what the name of the camp was. And that's, I guess, my attempt at, uh, it's kind of loud for me. Oh, maybe it's just the bad instruments. Anyway, so this was a, well, we'll just jump into it because I can't stand this music that I chose. Dear Journal, well, I just got to Cedar Badge. I may like it here, but I'm kind of homesick. Nothing interesting has happened so far, but when it does, I will let you know. Yours. Austin B. And I leave the tent. And here I am. That's me in my scout uniform in 2003. So the uh, the basics was I had just I had discovered the RPG maker when I was in, in around 2003 or whatever. And after Cedar Badge, I came home and played this, made this uh, RPG about it. So these are all real people. Um, if any of you remember this and you were my friend at scout camp let me know because that would be really awkward and weird and interesting anyway so we got uh me here um you can go into the tent here this was my bunk mate jordan i believe yeah jordan how's it going austin want some trail mix thanks a lot jordan so let me show you kind of the how the menus work on this. So we got inventory here. So I've got a class A uniform, which is of course your casual uniform in scouts. And I've got a trail mix, which is a healing item. <laughs> so let's go and equip that uh, class A uniform. Looks like it just gives plus one defense. Oh no, class A isn't your casual. Class C is your casual. So this is just my normal class A uniform, plus one defense. And it looks like these, you can name all of the stats in the game, but it looks like I didn't name them. So they're all just sort of standard. Hit points, mana points, attack, aim, which is accuracy, defense, dodge, magic, will, which is like magic defense, speed, control, which does nothing, MP tilde, which means like it cuts the cost of your spells by a percentage, which probably won't be used, and then hits, which is how many times you can hit, which really breaks the game if you use that much. And right now I'm just wielding a fist for punching things, but instead of that, let's pick up this pocket knife. I really shouldn't have that knife here in the tent, it could rip one of the walls. This can be useful if I have to confront a squirrel. All right, and then, you know, if I get wounded or whatever, I think you can rest on your sleeping bag. <laughs> That's funny. And you could also save your game here. So I'm not going to do that for now. 
but we'll see. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if you wander around in the grass is when the random encounters happen. Oh, whoops, forgot to equip. Well, I'll show you the how the weapons work first. Oh no, it's a horse fly. A house fly. Okay, so I'm just gonna punch the fly. Alright, I found a dollar. Nine experience points. Alright, so that was a punch, which honestly I did considerably more damage than I thought it would do with a punch, but maybe that's because it was a fly and had like negative defense or something. So let's go ahead and equip the pocket knife, which is more accurate and plus eight attack. Alright, there's a bridge, and I'm going to fish in the creek. And I catch a bass. So here's a bass fish, and I think I programmed it so that when I fish, Oh, I can still, oh yeah, look, unfortunately it, it hops back into the water. So you can only hold one fish at a time, which is funny. Okay, this is a horse fly. It's purple. Okay, see, look at the, it takes two hits to kill, ooh. Yay, ooh, that one's carrying $15. What a house, what a horse fly. Oh, this was before there was an option to do like parts of a tile as overlap, so that's kind of funny. All right, so we go over here to the fire. Do you want to do anything at the fire? So cell is a, I mean, that's the word for it, but the actual mechanic is you put stuff in the fire. So see, I can cook the fish here. Now it's a cooked uh, fish that I can uh, eat for even more health. And you can throw stuff in the fire and trade it for burnt ashes, which don't do anything, obviously. You can rest at the fire if you want. Ah, sure, I lost two hit points, might as well rest. All right, rest by the fire, now back up to full health. This is, little, This is. Uh, I think his name was also Jordan, but we called him Little Stone. Hey, Austin, go and pick up the food box at the turnaround point, will ya? I'm starving. Okay, so we have our own first quest. And BJ, here, take these earplugs. I have no use for them now that I got kicked off of the black powder rifles booth. <laughs> All right, so now I have some earplugs that I can wear on my head and it reduces my accuracy for some reason but it also blocks out sound which may be a type of damage I don't know also this music is based off of uh, it's called the soldiers chorus and it was like the default music on the sample game that came with this RPG maker and I liked it a lot so it's in a lot of my games I found a rock I could probably throw that at something Okay, so this guy is modeled after my rival at Scout Camp. His name was Jimmy, and he would always say, Sup, dog, and he drove me nuts. So I put him in this game as, of course, a villain. What are you doing on our camp, Jimmy? Get out. Dude, I just want to be your friend. Are we cool? Jimmy, I have been telling you ever since I got here, I do not want to be your friend. We are not cool, and we never will be cool. Now get out of our camp. By the way, Austin, I ate all the bananas in your bear box. Gah! So yeah, he would do that. What the, the bananas I put in the bear box are gone. So yeah, he would be he would always eat our food, drive us nuts, and I didn't like to. Found another rock. All right, so I think oh okay, so there's a secret in that little thing in the forest, but I'll go back there later because I think I need to equip myself first. So that, this is exactly like a scout camp. They'd actually have arches with that orange twine on them. It's so funny how all the details I put. Okay, so this is actually a um, model of our campsite uh, with the different, you know, patrols or whatever they were called and scouts. Everything in the flashing question mark area was, I didn't know what it was. So I guess I thought that that looked good. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, another. Oh, no. And it's got some maggots. Gross. So I guess it's wiggling and they're casting Harden on themselves like a Kakuna or a Metapod on Pokemon. It's pretty funny. And I think they're wiggling and it's decreasing my damage output because I'm doing a little bit less damage. I don't know though. Hey, I leveled up and now I learned Loyal. So if you guys know the Boy Scout law, it's like trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, brave, and reverent. And so his spells are the different values of the scout law. So there's trustworthy. I guess I couldn't fit that extra T in there. Uh, oh, this is before the game had descriptions. Um, 
Well, we'll just have to cast those in battle and see what happens. Okay, this was the other camp, and I guess I didn't go there in real life, so I didn't really know what to model it out as. But this is the TLA, which I don't remember what that stands for. Teaching and Learning Area. Honestly, that probably sounds right. Anyway, this tarp, there was a big tarp that was like covering the whole area, so that's how I kind of showed it without covering everything up from visually, I guess. I don't know. This place is unfinished. It doesn't even have music, so I'll just leave this place here. Also, this music right here is a scout song, and I notated it myself. Or no, I think I played it on a keyboard piano, which is hilarious. All right, this is the staff area. And they have their orange. This was like a varsity scout camp, and so... No. Venturing? No, yeah, Varsity, and that's why there's a bunch of like orange stuff. Boy Scouts was red, Varsity was orange, Venturing was green. None of these signs say anything, which is funny. Wow. And these were actually real guys. Yeah, Sean, my dad can fly planes. He sometimes transports scouts to the other side of Treasure Mountain. Yeah, that's a real guy. He was he grew up in my hometown, and his dad was a pilot, so it's so funny they put these in my I like their floppy beanies with their little pins on them and stuff. This is Will. A couple of kids were caught using the staff's showers yesterday morning. If you, if you, anyone else does that, they're getting kicked out of camp. I'm guessing that might have been like a seed for a, uh, you know. Ooh, found a flaming stick. Uh, I'm guessing that's a seed for some kind of quest early on. Let's go in this tent. Ooh, this guy's got three pins on his... And he's got his own theme song, Lamont. Hello, Austin. Here, I forgot to give you your Class C uniform. Thank you, Lamont. I don't know why he had his own theme song. I guess he was like a, one of the older guys. Who's this guy? Craig. Austin, is this your money? I found it in your camp. Uh, yeah, sure it is. Thank you, Craig. How much did I get? No, it doesn't say. Oh, status? 600. I think that was about 100 bucks that he gave me. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so let's let's see. The flaming stick is a little less accurate, but does more damage, and it does fire damage, which I think is strong against squirrels. So I'll go ahead and equip that, and I'll do the class C uniform, which is much more. It gives you much more speed, much more dodge, because it's more comfortable, and it is. Uh, it's basically just an orange T-shirt, so. Orange Varsity t-shirt. Alright, definitely gonna put that on. That's better. And let's go out of the tent. And what's in this other one? Kelly. I sell Jones sodas for 75 cents. Do you want to buy some? Uh, this is so funny. I forgot about this, but this is real. Like, that guy actually... There was actually a guy named Kelly, and he had Jones sodas, and he would sell them to the scouts. Uh, okay, so I assume that the dollars here mean cents, so. Alright, so there's Grape Jones Soda, Green Apple, Fruit Punch. Um, I'll buy one of each. I wonder what they actually do in battle, we'll find out. Okay, that's enough for the staff area. Let's go back to camp and save our game, and then we can do a couple of funny things. Oh yeah, and it flashed really fast at the bottom, but basically our our patrol name was Atomic Reaganomics. Okay, I'm already healed. Go ahead and save. All right. All right, so let's... <laughs> okay, so this is based on a true story as well. If we go in this clearing, there is a squirrel. And for some reason, when I was a kid, I loved the word insane. It was like my catchphrase. And I just thought insane creatures or whatever was, was hilarious. And I would always depict them as having red sparks for eyes like that. And this is a squirrel that the other scouts in the camp killed named Bunky. <laughs> so this is my tribute to an actual squirrel that they killed. Grahaha, you have tortured me for the last time, Scout. Your kind is constantly scalded and poked me with sticks. You shall die now. 
But, Bunky, I tried to stop the others from torturing you. I was trying to save you. That's true. You did not succeed in stopping them. You only tried. Grahahaha. That's a pretty lame dialogue, but whatever. And here's another scout song. Tease makes the world go round. Alright, let's try trustworthy. Raised accuracy. Okay, cool, I guess. So it's throwing green pine cones, which um, squirrels would do in camp, which is funny. Okay, loyal increases defense, so not much of a boss. All right, let's burn it with our stick here. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely weak against fire. Oh my gosh, it's doing so much, such terrible damage. Oh, this music is awful. I had to, I must have had to... No, like play it the piano with my fingers on the keyboard this is also very boring because there's really not like there's a lot more cooler abilities you can do but I didn't really know what to do so we'll get it'll get better there we go two levels for us to learn helpful and friendly I found a grape Jones soda ah, I forgot to use those that poor squirrel must have been really mad at the other scouts. I'll take his ashes with me to remember him. That's true as well. I kept uh, some ashes of the squirrel when the other scouts killed it and threw it in the fire. So it's just a uh, class, or it's just a quest item it looks like, but. All right. Um... Do, 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 do. I guess that was my idea of a sad song. Okay, so here is... Okay, here's a secret I made. I always... I, I could never um, resist putting uh, secrets in my games. So... <laughs> yeah, squirrels are weak to fire. Okay, this is an inside joke that only, like, literally two people in my entire oh gosh I get it out gotta get out of here let me out Ooh, that's got a stinger somehow even though it's just a fly <laughs> oh there we go okay so I think where is it there's a secret item that I left somewhere around the tent. No? Ew, I can rest in my friend's sleeping bag? That's awkward. Mm. Is it behind my tent? Aha! Jamberall hat. Okay, so at Cedar Badge I wore a blue Jamberall hat. Jamberall being a type of scout um call them get together I guess it was called the, the scout jamberall and so I wore that Ooh, 10 accuracy yeah yeah the year 2000 there's a jamberall and that's what I wore as cedar badge it was like a blue hat and I had this sort of thing I made up with my friends where we had these imaginary friends and mine you'll see what well you'll see what my imaginary friend was but he lived in my hat. What the? Something's wiggling in my hat. So you have to put on the hat and then go into the secret area. Barth, my imaginary friend. I thought you were exploring in Boise. I'm glad to see you too. Come with me and I'll show you around Cedar Batch. So yeah, I had an imaginary friend who was a purple cyclops. pretty awesome. Alright, let me get how do I get out of here? This is a weird layout. Oh there we go. So there's Barth. He's a purple Cyclops thing that jumps around. Yeah, not that I'm saying it out loud, having an imaginary purple Cyclops is kinda of weird, but I thought it was awesome. And so did my friends. They had different ones as well. Let's see, so he has purple power barth ball? Let's try that. Oh, ghost pine cones, that's new. Alright. 
we'll do Barth Piler. Barth Piler! And I'll handle the squirrels since I'm strong against them. But yeah, those ghost pine cones are interesting. Alright, got him. And I think I made this music too. Oh gosh, this. Okay, we're gonna run away. This is just too much. Whatever those uh, ghost pine cones were doing to Barth, he was absorbing the damage. That was weird. Yeah, look at that. He's absorbing the damage. Okay, you know what? This might. Oh wait, no, there is something here in the forest that we uh, that we got to do. So. No, oh, they didn't even drop anything. What a waste. Okay, we're just gonna run away from ghost pine cones from now on. Ooh, a bear! Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try some of my other abilities. Let's try helpful. Dodge rate? What does that have to do with being helpful? What music is this? Pokemon? Yeah, I think it's Pokemon. Learned kind and found some jerky. Okay, jerky's another healing item. Oh my gosh, the attack rate is way too high in this forest. Let me get out of here. Ugh! I guess I wanted to make this place super dangerous, but that's like inexcusably bad. Oh great, and now I'm in a dead end here. Oh boy. Bear run. I'm going to pause while I get out of this forest and I'll... Okay. Um, yeah, that was really annoying. Uh, so what we found here uh, appears to be a raft of some kind. Uh, this is probably just me using the, um, <laughs> the vehicle mechanics of the RHRPG. I think it's kind of dumb, honestly, that, the, that it still uses your walk animation. That makes me think that um, a vehicle should like, almost like the vehicle should just be a suit of armor or something, you know? Like, because otherwise, like, why would you move if the vehicle's moving? I don't know. Kind of a dumb design choice. But this was a long time ago, so maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe it's been fixed since then. So anyway, I think that that just leads to the other exit of the forest. Oh boy, here's more random encounters, but I think what I need is over here. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe it's not. Let's explore the other side. Oh my gosh. So annoying. I get it. This place is more dangerous than the world map, but man. Alright, there's a... Uh, okay. Moving along, I don't want to waste any movement. <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay, so here in the forest we found a banana. Uh, and I can't remember what's going to happen, but we'll find out together. What the monk is a banana doing in this forest? Oh yeah, I forgot that I would use monk as like a filler for swear words. What the monk is a banana doing in this forest? Oh, okay, so he doesn't actually say anything. Um, but you'll notice it's a quest item, it's orange. So why might that be? Well, uh, let me montage past the forest and I'll get out and I'll let you know. Okay, enough of those random encounters. Let's go ahead and leave this side of the forest. I remember as funny as it sounds, it actually took quite a bit of programming to get that door to work where you could enter from that direction, from that opposite direction of the forest, and end in that other door. Uh, it works differently with the, like, staff area. Oh, yeah, see? He went in through, like, the bottom and came in the side. And then he came out the side. So, anyway, it's easier when you do it like I did with those tents over there where you can enter from the bottom or the top and they're separate tiles or whatever. So, anyway. Alright, so, uh, actually, hold up. I did, I do remember there was kind of a quest to go here at the turnaround point. I forgot that it was called that. 
this is where the venturing was. Shoot, am I missing some stuff? I remember there used to be some NPCs here. Okay, well, picked up the food box from the commissary or whatever. Alright, that's fine if it's this one. And I can handle that. Oh, Barth never came down. That was hilarious. Oh, well, that's all I've written so far. I'll update it constantly, and before you know it, this RPG will be a full fledged computer game. Yeah, right. Um, I assume that means you can't go to the trading post and stuff? No. Nope. Okay, I don't know what's going on because. Oh, didn't ever take that off. Alright, alright. Enough with the squirrels already. It's way faster, but not as strong, so we'll just wait. There we go. Save some time there. Okay, this is bothering me because... Enough with the random encounters already. Because there was supposed to be some other scouts here, and there was supposed to be some joke. Why are they not here? I'm, okay, I gotta look at that after this is done, because that bothers me. I, I don't think I took them off. Alright, well, let's see what happens when I bring the food box back and see what happens. Oh man, everybody's gone. What is going on here? Did I do something that made all everybody disappear? Obviously, Bunky's tree is empty. Okay, well, for now... Okay, I might start over and look there to see if I did something wrong, but let's go ahead and do our boss battle here. Yeah, even Jordan's gone. Where, where is everybody? Okay, let's go ahead and rest. Save. Alright. Okay, I guess I never changed that, but, um... Ah, oh, wait. Okay, I need to look something up first. First, let's just go ahead and try this boss battle. Sup, Doug? That does it! Stop following me around! I do not want to be your friend! Let's fight this out once and for all! Whoa, what's happening to you? Ah, uh, I knew all the time you were a mutant! You finally show your true form! Uh, I do not know what this music is. It sounds like something maybe I composed. Because it sounds horrible. Hehehe, <laughs> too bad you won't live to tell anyone. You die now. Uh, anybody recognize that symbol on the, uh, on his hat there? Because, yeah, it's some baseball cap that he was always wearing, but... Okay, let's do, let's do kind. I don't know what kind does. Oh, what did that do? Maybe it lowered their... Oh, he flattened Barth. That's pretty funny. Okay, let's do uh, Fruit Punch Jones. Now I can't miss. Oh, this music's terrible. Okay, let's jerky. Oh, this music is horrible. So, when I in the early days of this uh, RPG, there was um, a different type of music called BAM music. And later, they updated it to do MIDI. <laughs> I like his weak um, animation. His glasses are falling off. Anyway, there used to be BAM music, which is a different file type. Okay, I'm probably dead. And... <laughs> Alright. So... Now that he killed me, let's let me look up something real quick and see if the other scouts are there. Cause something made all the scouts disappear. Was it was it when I picked up the banana? Anyway, let's go down here. Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. Here's some more scouts here. Staff member. Sorry, no Reagan's allowed in the Grant area. So yeah, every every um patrol was named after a different president of the United States, so we were Reagan, the Atomic Reaganomics, and this was the Grant area. Oh, please, I need to know what's down there so I can make an RPG about it when I get home. 
<laughs> rules are rules. That was pretty meta. I love that. Oh, here's a sheath knife. Ha, those grants will be sorry now that I stole one of their staff members' sheath knives. Oh, wow. Doesn't sound like he's being very trustworthy. All right, here's some venture members. Although, oh yeah, okay. They got black shirts and green uh, neckerchiefs, but we'll see what they say. Venturing rocks, hoo-ha! Varsity's better, hoo-ha. So that was actually a thing that happened at camp. That's pretty funny. And this is the, oh, okay, look, yeah, see? Food box, there's this guy. That staff member doesn't seem interested in talking. That's funny. Uh, anyway, so this here is Bunky's ghost, I guess. Body just disappears, so I must not have implemented that correctly. Um, okay, there's something. Wow, W.O.W. was the women of Wadsworth, which were like the lunch ladies of the camp. And they, uh, Wadsworth was, I guess, one of the people who established Cedar Bad or something. So that's pretty funny. Uh, let's equip that sheath knife, though. All right, so there's something... Maybe if I give it to him. Ah, thank goodness the food box is back. I'm gonna eat. Okay, there we go, see. This is a bottle of bleach. So now that I know what a pain in the butt the forest is, well, first let's go ahead and get the uh, class A uniform real quick. But this is a uh, humorous story that you might like. Class C, career money, and my sheath knife. Okay, let's go get that banana. Maggots. Oh, I guess I realized I did start over, so I don't have my levels from before, but oh well. Honestly, those spells are just status-inducing spells, which we all know are the suckiest kind, so... Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. There's no exit to this area, to the south? I guess this must have been one of the last areas I worked on and I never finished it, so... I'm just going to cheat real quick. Alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that banana. Okay, I'm gonna cheat again because we've all seen this already. Oh, for heaven's sake, there's a path map even like right next to the bat banana in the clearing. So the idea with the squirrels constantly like throwing pine cones was one of the guys at scout camp said that squirrels at scout camp always would throw these really hard green pine cones. Because, you know, they're territorial or something, so. Alright. Whoops. Okay, turn off walking through walls. Alright, let's see if this works properly. What the mug's a banana doing in this forest? Oh, -ho. I just came up with the best idea. Five minutes later. <laughs> okay, so Jimmy can't resist bananas, and this one soaked in bleach will be his last. <laughs> okay, so the idea behind this was I don't really know what I was thinking, but on like in Scout Camp or whatever, I was so mad at Jimmy that I thought of the idea of like soaking a banana in bleach and somehow poisoning him. It's so stupid, but... Anyway, so I will, uh, let's see what happens. So we got a... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, I went through all the programming and it deleted the... 
It didn't even add the item to my inventory. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's try this any just in case, but I might have to modify the file real quick. Does it do it automatically or something? Oh, here it is. Bleach banana. Okay. Uh, banana soaked in chlorine. Oh, great. And it killed me. Okay, glad I'm saved right before then. Let's try this again. Okay, no more time for messing around. Let's just use it on him and be done with it. Bleach banana. Whoosh. You use the bleach banana. Ah, what kind of banana is this? Nah. All right, so yeah, that was way too fast. Probably didn't see it. Let's see an instant replay real quick. Five levels, learned helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient. But not cheerful, brave, and clean and reverent. Ha, huh, I guess that's that. I guess I won't be hearing from that mutant anymore. Anyway, so that was, um, they've made it in future, in present versions of the OHRPG. You can slow down attacks to make them look a little better. But back then, as you saw in the replay, it attacked multiple times just to keep the, uh, text on the screen longer. Anyway, it was pretty funny, so. Anyway, that's all to say about Cedar Badge, uh, which I'm pretty sure is the only JRPG ever made about Boy Scouts of America, so thank you very much. And, oh yeah, and when I was a kid I really, really liked Norse runes, so you gotta have, you know, yes. Oh, I am such an idiot. That says Zess. That doesn't say yes. <laughs> Zess and no, so pretty funny. Anyway, so that is Cedar Badge. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the HRPG for that map. <laughs>